I'm fine. Um, Emmanuel, you want to join me? Oh. Well, you know I like to throw you, right? Amy, don't oh, yeah, throw. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> it signals on I two one point three Lagos stocks. My name is Adewumi Oshodi. This morning it's rainy Saturday in the city of Lasgidi. And um, get a cup of coffee, get a cup of tea, and let's join me on this beautiful hour where we, well, where we sell our businesses and where we have conversations that enriches our lives. We go straight to Signals Business, where we pitch our businesses, where we sell our businesses in 30 seconds. So that's one thing that makes me happy. The different voices that I get to hear in the morning, some low, some high. They talk about their business and it, see that's the height of the show high and height of the show for me and then sometimes i have it but hey it's for the good of the people the number to call is 0809-191-3913 or 0809-222-0913 or 0809-234-5913 um call us 0151-509-13 or zero one five one five one nine one three. It signals business, so we pitch our businesses in thirty seconds. Your name, your location, what do you sell, what's unique about your business, <laughs> and how can we reach you? Hello, good morning. Ah, we are not doing that. No Thank you. No noise. Please reduce the volumes of your radio set. Zero eight zero nine one nine one three nine one three. A zero eight zero nine triple two zero nine one three. A zero eight zero nine triple two zero nine one three. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Your name or where are you calling us from? My name is Victor. I'm calling from Ikeja. Was Victor selling? Um, guy. I'm eating tuna catchy. <laughs> compatible tuna catchy. Well That's compatible to eight kilos of jet. Qualities are top notch. You click on Concord Tippers, it does graphics. You can save 70% on all your printing costs when you buy CF Office Plus toners. Okay. You can reach me on 081 Thank you. Thank you too. I still call again. Let other people call in. 009 0809-191-3913. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Your name or where are you calling us from? Yeah, my name is Kola for Joseph. I'm calling from Mushin. Okay, what are you selling? All right, so um, my business name is Uniquely Surprises. We do surprise daily surprises. We do wedding anniversaries, proposals, and the likes. So how can we reach you? So my phone number is 080-916-436-35. Thank you. A signals business, or we pitch our businesses in 30 seconds. The numbers to call is 0809-191-3913 or 0809. Hello, good morning. No. Hello, good morning. Hello. 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 Good morning. Please. Hello, good, morning. good morning. My name is Apart Wando. Okay, from where? Hello. I can hear you, Apart Wando. From where? From over in the back of the year. Okay. What I'm electric weather and black smoke. Okay. So how can so we you reach you? My number is O A two. Mm hmm. Two four. Mm hmm. Six one. Mm hmm. Thank you. That's, that's courage. Zero zero nine two three four five nine one three or zero eight zero nine one nine one three nine one three or zero eight zero nine triple two zero nine one three. It signals business or we pitch our businesses in thirty seconds. Your name, your location, what do you sell? What's special about your business? <laughs> now can we reach you? Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Your name or where are you calling us from? Yeah, I'm calling from a, a cold motor. What's your name, sir? My name is Otuba Ade. 
What's so I'm calling from a code. Uh, my name is Otumba. I'm calling from a code monster. I work with uh, Tumbo Nigeria Enterprises and we sell pampas in various sizes, wholesale and retail. So those are what we sell here. So uh, you can I'm reach you. me mm-hmm. if you need bulk purchase or just what this is. Our market, our, our shop is based. In a good matter. So our number is zero, my number is zero eight one three nine nine six one seven zero three. Thank you. Wow. It signals business or we pitch our businesses in thirty seconds. The numbers to call is zero eight zero two three four zero zero nine two three four five nine one three. Oh, zero eight zero nine. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Name my name is uh, La La Sugar, uh, and my business name is uh, La Debbie Computers. Where are you going? I deal from? in uh, the sale and repair of uh, computers and computer accessories, and you can reach me on zero eight one three seven zero. Seven double zero eight four zero eight one three seven zero seven double zero eight four. Thank you, sir. As signals business, or we pitch our businesses in thirty seconds. The numbers to call zero eight zero nine two three four five nine one three. Hello, good morning. <laughs> Hello. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Your name or where are you calling us from? My name is Ojo Abayomi. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I, I, I deal in very cool accessories, fires, batteries, and the like. And we also conduct training. The name of our business is Daybridge International, Nigeria Limited. So I can be reached on 0 0 Nine seven nine four four nine seven. We also have Daybridge Auto. Thank you. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Okay. A signals business. or we pitch. or we pitch our businesses in thirty seconds. What's um, your name? Your location? What do you sell? What's unique about your business? And how can we reach you? Hello. Good morning. Hello. Okay, then please reduce the volumes of your radio set. 0809 Hello, good morning. Hello? Good morning. Your name or where you calling us from? My name is Adibut Adewari. Okay, where are you calling us from? I'm, call- I'm calling from Kipi. What are you selling? Yeah, I'm into London and drinking business. So, you can contact me on zero eight zero six two two nine seven one six eight. Thank you. Zero eight zero nine two three four five nine one three or zero eight zero nine triple two zero nine one three. Hello, good morning. <coughs> Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Your name or where you calling me from? My name is Mr. Lasko Dunoka. I'm calling from Jibo Yaba. Okay. I want to talk about my burgers. Wonderful burgers everywhere. You can put burgers like you never tasted before. Food like you never tasted before. You can book us for your event on 081 Thank you. A signals business where we pitch our businesses in 30 seconds. 0809-234-5913. Zero eight zero nine one nine one three nine one three zero one five one five one nine one three. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Please reduce the volume of your radio set. Uh, uh, my name is Kopalomo. Hello. Uh, can you hear me? Good, yeah. good morning. Uh, my name is David. I'm calling from Kamu. Okay, what are you selling? I didn't get your name. Okay. You know what? Please, so my, do, please do call so my, me. 
Oh God, there is one. I cannot hear you. I, I can't hear you. Please do call me back. Hello, good morning. Please do call me back. The guy from Falomo. Please do call me back. 0809 Hello, good morning. Hello. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Your name, where are you calling us from? My name is Nnamde Aldoebu. I'm calling from Tejosho Market. Okay. I sell cotton and chair fabric and blackout that you use to back in your house, studio and clubs. How can we reach the phone, line? My phone number is 080 mm -hmm. 541 mm -hmm. double C mm -hmm. 475. Thank you. <laughs> zero zero nine one nine one three nine one three or zero eight zero nine two three four five nine one three. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Yes. Good morning. Your name or where are you calling us from? Uh my name is Eus. I am calling from uh, Lucky. Okay. What are you selling? I I am into uh some addition and best control service. Rat, cockroaches, flies, snakes, any kind of pest control. And we are very effective. We give a guarantee that at least, after, at least for the next six months, we're not going to experience all this uh, pest control in our partner. We are very good at it. It's our job. We do, we do the job very well indeed. How can we reach and, you? Uh, yes, the uh, phone number is 0073 uh, 80 Thank you. Hello, good morning. <laughs> The guy from Falomo, I think I'm waiting for you. Please do call me, but before I wrap up this segment, I have like two minutes to go. 0 Hello, good morning. <coughs> Hello, good morning. Yeah, morning. Hello, good morning. Hello. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. My name is Michael from Odecom Energy. We supply quality lubricants uh, such as Mobile, Wando, oh. Fort Oil. Nice. And uh, you can reach us on 081 3456 Thank you. No, it's once. Hello, good morning. Okay, and that's it for Signals Business. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. So you just left the studio. With Sardine Team Success Easy Banking, we can open a Zenith Bank account, purchase airtime and data, make transfers to any bank in Nigeria, pay bills, and make QS payments. That's going down. It's coming from other cell service options like PIN and password reset and temporary blockage of your account. And more importantly, it can be used on any phone type as it requires no data. Dial star 966 hash to get started now. I don't like it when you come late to my program. There's a new cuisine in town. What did you say? A cup of coffee. And if you're like me, a glass of smoothie. With signals, Star News is taught 91.3 every Saturday at 10 a.m. Your mind will dream of it. If you have COVID. Okay. With Sardine 66 hash, you can open the bank account, purchase your time and data, make transfers to any bank in Nigeria, pay bills and make POS payments, create your wallet account, and perform other self-service options like pay and password reset, and temporarily block it of your account. Star 966 hash is fast, easy, and convenient. And more importantly, let's talk about how, what's the definition of making you happy? No data. Dial star 96 
It signals on to 1.3 Lagos stocks. Uh, well, this morning we'll be looking at handling the handling information in the era of social media. Okay. Now my trial question this morning before my guest comes in is when you wake up in the morning, what news outlet um, do you first go to? Do you listen to? Do you watch TV or you just take your phone and just scroll through? Are you reading blogs or you are reading news sites? Which of which do you do first thing in the morning? Or you, do you listen to radio and then which of your stations? Um, do you listen to? Do you, do you buy papers? You know, most times when you're driving, there's this, um, these uh, are, uh, is it, uh, they used to press this. I remember that they used to, these old men who carry a lot of papers in the morning and they know, huh? They have drivers. They have drivers. <laughs> They, there's this this uh, man there's a man who sells i don't know what they call Vendor. them vendors news vendors they call them uh, they sell newspapers so do you still buy paper or do you just wake up and you just take your phone <laughs> interesting and then you just scroll through news site what do you do when you wake up in the morning you buy paper or do you like the feel of paper in your hands <laughs> or do you just go through your phone and um, you scroll through and say okay fine i have my sites that i go through so what do you do first thing in the morning you buy paper or you go through your phone which is easy for you the numbers to call is 0809-234-5913 zero eight zero nine one nine one three nine one three or oh, zero eight zero nine triple two what's up zero zero nine two three four five nine one three paper or your phone which do you do first thing in the morning or if you're not doing uh you pray no okay <laughs> oh okay no hello good morning good morning I do. <laughs> what do you do first thing in the morning paper or your paper phone or gaga. Uh, paper or I you I thought you said people are using data to read paper. No 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 no. I said your paper. Do you buy newspapers in the no, morning? No, okay, mine is radio. Okay, radio. When I wake up, it's uh, you know the. <laughs> Hello, sir. Okay, I think Mr. Uh, do you hear me? I can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you clearly. Okay, now I said paper review on radio. Mm. Okay. The radio, it's uh, my first port of call. Yeah. I switch it anytime. Sometimes, you, you know, we old people, we don't sleep well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 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 No, sorry, now. Nah. It's not like that. <laughs> <laughs> Three o'clock in the morning, we just switch any radio, radio but it's mostly radio. Then you can now, you know, the second level would mm. be the papers to be able to read details. Mm. of what you might have listened to on news or perhaps the review, paper review, and so on and so forth. Okay. And much later, you can now be looking at the internet and whatever, mm. and then see for, uh, the Financial Times and all the rest, uh, because I like to make it, but I like to think of a hand come. Okay, then. Thank you, sir. Hello, good morning. <laughs> hello, good morning. Good morning. Please reduce the volume of your radio set. Yeah, hello, good morning. Let's talk. Good morning. Your name or where are you calling us from? Yeah, my name is Richard. I'm calling from Sude. Okay. We're talking handling information um, in the area of social media. When you wake up in the morning, what do you do? Your phone? Do you go through news on your phone or you buy newspaper? No, what I do first is, after saying my prayers, mm -hmm. it is even my wife that even wakes me up. Are you not going to listen to Lagos stuff? Oh, that's good. Thank you. Even if I, even if I, even, even if I, even if I, at least she checks the time for me and she says, ah, guy, you are waking up little. Mm. So, are you not going to listen to Lagos stuff today? Then I start with, um, um, um this is sports, this sports program. Okay. Um, this child, another, another sports program. Okay. And then then you, from there, I listen to news. Adu. Okay, that's good. Adu and the Guru. Uh, okay, I think I'm getting then from there. <laughs> then from there, I listen to Ify. Ah, uh, you know the rundown. Thank you for listening to Lagos. I know the rundown. So, 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 so. At times, uh, at times, uh, if if guys they give me on Lagos talks, and I don't have the opportunity of, it pains me a lot. Sorry, oh, you're sorry, sorry. Let me tell you. Because I'm an adding listener. Thank you for listening. Thank you so much for listening. Hello, good morning. <laughs> 
Okay, sorry. Please send us WhatsApp messages 0809-234-5913 or call us 0809-191-3913. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Your name or where you calling us from? Yeah, this is Kolapo from Mushin. Okay, Kolapo. What do you do first thing in the morning? Yeah, first thing in the morning, I say my prayers. Oh, okay. Then afterwards, I tune into Lagos Talks. Okay. Night one, two, three. Nice. Yeah. Thank you so much. Now, why am I asking this question? We 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 have um, the conversation. This one is handling information. Now, we we that some people will trust that. Okay, if I go to this certain news site, I'm going to get all of this happening in Nigeria. And then for some other people, they want to look at blogs. I, I, I want to look at our, our habits in the morning when we wake up. And apart from prayers, yes, prayers, like God, how far? We're, we know we're praying to you. <laughs> After that is how do we take in information? What sites are we taking in information? And what's the authenticity of these sites that, okay, we trust them. And we know that whatever comes out of these new sites, they are legit. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Network be nice. What's up, us? 0809-234-5913. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Your name or what are you calling Alpha us? Alpha Okay. Alpha. Alpha. First of all, in the morning, mm -hmm. after I thank God, allow me to the land. Mm. After I give thanks to God, Almighty God, my second thing is my phone. <laughs> and radio talk. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hello, good morning. Yeah, hello, good morning. Good morning. Your name, where you calling us from? Yeah, my name is Namdi. I'm calling from Tejosho. Okay, okay, Namdi. Uh, yeah, Namdi, honorable from Tejosho. Mm. So, what did yeah, you first do in the morning? Yeah, I made my wake up in the morning. I pray. I watch uh, AIP. Okay. It's 7.30. Mm -hmm. Early 8 o'clock, the guru and daddy. <laughs> nice. I'll start listening okay. to them from that time till 11 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Don't stop that guru. That uh, guru is making us, giving us the whole information. Okay. Anytime you stop this guru in 91.3, mm -hmm. you will not be knowing fully well what is happening in this country. Well, thank you so, so we much. love you. We love you at one point three. Thank you. Okay, it's handling information in the area of social media. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Emmanuel, hi. Purchase airtime and data. Make transfers to any bank in Nigeria. Pay bills and make POS payments. Create your wallet account. Only one that broke up with the other service options like pin and password reset and temporarily block it from your account. Star 966 hash is fast, easy, and convenient. And more importantly, it can be used on any phone type as it requires no data. Dial star 966 hash to get started now. Seven five. <laughs> Welcome back to Signals on ninety one point three. Lagos Talks. We're talking and in information. I think which what are your favorite sites? Um, paper. Do you still buy paper? If you buy paper, <laughs> now there's nothing wrong with paper. I just I'm looking at what we we consume a lot of information. Like we wake up in the morning for the people for the lovers of WhatsApp. You go to WhatsApp. You check it out for people like me who like to post a lot of memes, post memes. I'm just looking at general habits in the way we consume information, whether true or not, and. Um, we just gulp it in and like okay so what's happening so, and sometimes some people for the love of guiding guiding their minds and like no 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 bad story this morning and for some people they just like to buy the regular old newspaper the feel of paper i don't know what it is I'm not, it's not about about newspaper this morning but i just want to know how um what makes you buy newspaper in the morning what makes you wake up and say okay i want to be informed 
and you know in the era of um, we're having last week Saturday we talked about um, information overload i was even worried about how we so much consume information that can can yes we want to be informed and other times it has a way of you know by the time you hear a lot of bad news you're like you know no, no, I, I don't want I, I know of a um i know of someone who by the time the man is watching cnn and i'm like and you know your your temper is so high i'm wondering what happened now? <laughs> like can you just sort it off so what what are our different habits in the morning how we consume information how yes you want to and then you know you, you consume information you consume different news different stories and then <laughs> that's the favorite word in my head that like with all of these informations that we keep gathering and we keep getting um be it educative be it entertaining be it informative be it enlightening is at the end of the day so how 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 does it strike a balance for us and this is me speaking out loud thought of top of my head because we consume them and and sometimes you wonder where you listen to news in the morning and you open <laughs> open newspaper right and you're wondering what exactly is going on in this country if we're not looking at the inflation rates we're looking at um cbm banning is it forex there's forex issue that's one thing or the other and like can, can we just have you ever thought of no not have you ever thought of have you ever just woken up one man and said can we just have good news like just one good news to make my day going so I'm looking at our habits and um, why we do what we do. <sighs> the numbers to call, um, send us a WhatsApp message. I'd love to hear from you. 0809. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why I'm laughing. 234 I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Okay. I have let's use the twenty minutes that we have. It's okay. There's a new cuisine in town. A glass of wine, a cup of coffee, and if you're like me, a glass of smoothie. With signals served on Lagos Talks 91.3 every Saturday at 10 a.m. Your um, morning first, I would you please take pictures? Thank you. With Starlight Chip Six Hash Easy Banking, you can open a Zenith bank account, purchase airtime and data, make transfers okay. to any bank in Nigeria. So I have 20 questions for you. POS payments. You can wall account. Watch what options like. Watch the mirror. No. Let, let me see. So earlier on, I was asking people what their habits are like when they wake up in the morning. Uh, so what you buy, paper, or um, you wake, uh, you take your phone and then you watch news. <laughs> okay, magic. Please, can I can I have my studio back in one place? Thank you. Welcome back to Signals on it's 1.3 Lagos Stocks. Um, I have for last day Benson saying I love news on print because the writing style is different and all news there are very authenticated. I have with me this morning um Steve Olushe here on is the mean is the immediate past commissioner for tourism, arts and culture. Now ah, Journalist, author, publisher, media consultant, um, 24 years of experience and has won many, many awards. Okay. Because I have limited time, this is what we're going to do. Um, your career has been an upward swing. Art reporter, art editor. Like, you have, you had your 24 years interesting. Why did you just decide that the, the 24 years of my life out of my life i'm going to use it for information i'm going to i'm going to do a lot of communication papers and all of that why did you just decide that okay i'm going to dedicate this 24 years of my life because it's interesting 
It's a career, isn't it? <laughs> ah, a huge one at that. Okay. It's a career. I mean, I've been a journalist all, all my life, but of course, a journalist who um, was also interested in matters of the arts. Um, you know, uh, you probably you didn't add the fact that I served as Commissioner for Information and Strategy first um, before arts culture and tourism but i mean I, i'm just telling you of my what my interests are <laughs> okay so 24 years you know plus not sure. i mean basically different newspapers from the guardian to um, the comet okay. which is now defunct uh, to the punch where i had the privilege of working as european correspondent as a member of the editorial board and then the daily editor and then mm -hmm. after that, National Mirror, um, who I served as uh, editor in chief, managing director, before government called. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Now, so you can see how the, yes, you know, the been, some, bits been, and pieces of the, the puzzles of the is half, getting half there. a century of, you know. Um, yeah. I haven't worked in those roles. Okay. What has stood out for you? Um, for me, integrity. Okay. And then devotion to the beautiful art of journalism. Hmm. Uh, for me, I think the job of a reporter is the best job in the world. Why do you say so? Because you have access. You can reach anywhere. Hmm. You can um, demand to speak to anyone politely. And you can write about anything that you choose, really. And of course, social media has made things a lot easier these days you do not even need anybody's permission you know because you are more or less like a citizen journalist no, we're, we're, we're getting there now citizens journalists and um, journalists what's mm -hmm. the difference trained um, journalists I must say you can be an untrained journalist you're not a journalist if you were not trained okay uh, which is why the concept of citizen uh, journalist is rather contentious um, purists uh, in our profession, we say that there's nothing like that. And I tend to agree, uh, except, of course, that we just choose to use the word citizen journalist loosely, that it doesn't confer any um, authenticity on whoever claims to be a citizen journalist. I appreciate the sense in which that has been used. You can post anything on social media. You can even be a blogger. Mm -hmm. You know, that doesn't necessarily make you um, a journalist. <laughs> <laughs> well, but that. you're a citizen that is throwing out news. But it has to be it has to be footnoted so that people know that the person who is who claims to to be writing this has not probably fact checked, has not spoken to the you know um, person that is supposed to authenticate what he or she is writing etc so you can accept that a citizen journalist uh, shouldn't be barred from expressing an opinion if you know what i mean yes, but not to say that this is the position of government or position of a banking thing i mean certain things are sensitive right. certain level of information um, things that can you know occasionally run on a bank for example you can be a citizen journalist and begin to pontificate about things that you don't know so you are, you, are, you are a citizen that is using the access that social media has provided. For a journalist, I'm not so sure. Okay. Because there's no regulation. For journalists, there would be regulation. Uh, uh, so, let's backtrack into the 90s and now. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't have social media. No. 90s. Mm -hmm. We like... Uh, but we had yellow journalism. Yeah, that was fun, <laughs> right? Now... Um, there's almost like a mixed bag of we wanting to break something new, yeah, because news is something new, something yes. breaking, yeah. yeah, and why in an era where we all want to break false stories, true stories, and our emotions are running wild, mm -hmm. where do we create the balance? Um, we really have it in the night, but by, by, by being professional, really. Um, and knowing, uh, and by professionalism, I, mm. I, I'm not saying that there's nothing wrong with the platform. Okay. Social media, blogs, you know, dragon. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the platform because it's, it's, it's um, easy access mm. to information. 
easy access to news dissemination mm -hmm. you know uh, you can be on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook or you know uh, snapchat or anything and just push out an information because you can be right there at any point in time and say oh this is what happens however um, citizens will have to understand that this is um, more or less like an uh, it, it's it's not a it's not it's not an edited it's not a managed news item so that you don't for example you might hear gunshots on Western Avenue mm. and you happen to be there and you pick up your camera and then you you record mm. oftentimes what your what the 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 narrative the narration that we hear of the person behind the camera is all is sometimes at variance to what is mentioned because it's it, you know you can hear something like oh I'm robbers on Western Avenue shooting or Boko Haram or whatever I heard us whereas it might be cultists just mm. fighting or it might be uh, what the what the uh, military call what they call that thing uh, you know when the demo a demonstration like you know sorry no, no when, when they actually it's, um, training it is training but they actually make it look real you know mm. and, and then people won't understand and it happened recently like two weeks ago when people thought that the avengers had returned <laughs> <laughs> in niger delta blowing up places mm. whereas it was like an activation to say if this happens this is how we'll mm. deal with it people who are not trained to disseminate news will just like they went to town to say oh the avengers are back and stuff like that so what we need to do between the 90s and the 2000s and now yeah. is to process news better and to make people to be aware you remember in those days either in the newspaper or radio or tv if an advertiser will sneak in something as news you will footnote it to say this is uh, advertoria mm. this is paid for this is a special report mm. it's the same way that we should say when we, we otherwise and we shouldn't we shouldn't also forget that even established news Get it wrong uh, too they, they get it wrong sometimes. I mean, you you saw what happened about the Baba Jesha thing yes. when before it came out openly and in, and it ought not to have come out. The video was already out, even without the face of the Person. of the minor mm. being covered. But of course, what a proper newspaper or a news channel will do was what I wouldn't mean, yeah. want to mention yeah. <laughs> was yeah. what they did. They they retracted. They took away. They, they took off. You know that offensive uh, news space. And then apologized you know now can, can blogs be sources of authentic information sometimes yes okay sometimes yes i, I understand that uh, chief shagun oshoba who was once an editor md of um, uh, the sketch mm. you know and former governor of Ogo state is actually advocating that if you want to practice as a blogger training training one and then registration let us know who i'm for that because um i know that a lot of people uh have been at the receiving end of backlash not just fake news yes, but no. um uh, what i call faceless journalism you can't claim to be a blogger and we can't trace you if you know what i mean i mean there's uh, no contact well, well, well you want to look at security of people even though what about security of of you Okay, so it's so what about what about security <laughs> of the staff here? You mm. have the radio stations here. Mm. What about their security? True. It's because you do not want to hide behind facelessness and churn out wrong news, wrong news. that can be damaging, that can that can <laughs> throw the country into you know, yes. that can malign people that they may not be able to recover ever. Hmm. If you know what I mean. Now how do we deal with fake? Fake stories, fake news, fake news, fake news, fake news, fake news. Fake news. Because it's, it's almost as if it's here to stay with us and we don't even know where to say, no, this is wrong, this is right. Where to start with, most people do not, maybe because of the person who popularized fake news, they do not like to use that expression. <laughs> so they say, how do we deal with misinformation? Whether it is fake news or misinformation, we can't, um, we can't gloss over the need for certain levels of regulation. It can be internal and i'm sure that there will be some house rules for example for you know your stations yeah. here um it can also be governmental and when i say governmental uh, you have to understand that people um civil societies um bodies in the media will continue to engage and oftentimes vehemently disagree with the government it doesn't mean that the government will also be right but we can't also say that the government should totally look away 
because they do not look away in India, they do not look away in, <laughs> in Canada, in America. And I'm saying that because of what happened to Twitter. And you yeah, see every how, morning I beg Alaji to please on <laughs> like it's almost like I do it intentionally that Alaji please on ban Twitter. I don't think it's, it's about Alaji. It's about it's about the Federal Republic of Nigeria. <laughs> but but Alaji is the first. <laughs> but I think we are closer to resolution now. Okay. And if you look at um, uh, the cover of some of the newspapers today, and I'm sure that your news department will, you yeah. know, most likely carry the news. Uh, the federal government says seven out of the ten points that they presented to Twitter to fulfill, you know, have been met seven out of ten. So it looks like I, I, I can almost bet that. But you miss Twitter. Yes, I do. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> because. But that, but that is not to say that mm. um, any tech giant should constitute itself as 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 an alternative government or as 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 as, as a censorship organization without especially when issues of national that, security is issues concerned. that are sensitive and nigeria is not the only country engaging twitter canada is engaging twitter uh, India is vehemently engaging Twitter. Yeah, well, <laughs> because they're a cultural nation. It's a huge country like Nigeria, so you will always have, you know, different, you know. Why do you think Twitter has considered to seven out of the ten points? Well, they need to make money. That's it's because they need us now. Well, yeah, we need so abide, us. abide by the rules. If you need us now, mm -hmm. this this brings me to the Freedom of Information Bill. Oh yes, okay. it's it's sort of it, it's just like you have a house, so you have kids yes. and. You're saying that, and this is how I, I view Nigeria as, yeah. uh, as a country, that we have freedom to speak, mm -hmm. but <laughs> you can say whatever you want to say, and then you can be damned. Well, I mean, you, you, know, you know how law works. No law is perfect, but you also do not want a lawless environment, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I do, but I, I'm just wondering where, yes, we want to have, we want to be a nation where we can... Um, where our voices can really be heard, because for me is there's a disconnect between the government and the people. It, it has always been like that. Yeah, but we, and it, and why it's not we, about social media, and, you know. And, well, you know, we we um, some a friend of mine said Gen Z is end of end of generation or something like that. <laughs> Gen, Gen no, Z. but you know where yeah. we we just want to keep talking and mm -hmm. keep talking, and it looks as if there is no censorship. And we want to be heard, but are, are, that are is... you saying that Twitter is the only avenue to talk? Mm. But yeah. that's the easiest yeah. way. <laughs> is it? Is it easier than Facebook or Facebook? Or is, Facebook is Facebook is a community ah. of people where families, our uncles and aunties, like you know, you know that. Okay. And let's let's let's, um, you know that when you post on Facebook, yes. your aunties and your uncles will, would call your father like kill him when posting here. And so, what, what are you are you interested in posting things that people cannot challenge? No, but you, you, it, we, we have we have um, culture, um, er, um, culture in Facebook where people are calling. I, I've had people say, I posted what's on my mind, and then you have to put it down. Even WhatsApp stories. But, but, but anybody who is saying um, no censorship should also not censor those who query what you're posting. It, that should be balance of engagement, isn't it? Uh, I, I, I'm not. I, I understand you. Yeah, exactly. You know? <laughs> <laughs> because and I, and I pray that Twitter will return. He but, has to. But of course, like, return. Like you, please, no. But return, return sensibly. Okay. As they are asking in India, as they are asking in Canada, as they are asking all over, even in America. You know, I mean, there was a report about okay, so you could ban a former president, but you couldn't, you couldn't ban the the spokesperson of Taliban. Yeah. For example, you know, so very but, touchy subjects. That, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, so thing, so so the question there is, yes. when what um, what gives somebody the right to go scot free, and another person absolutely no, uh, what was it called? Uh, you know, double standards. Yes, you know, double well. double standard. Don't, don't don't use that. And 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 we tend to see, and you know, part of the you know how it is in America. Mm. You know, they are they are very much sensitive when it comes to issue of monopoly. Okay, it doesn't yeah. look like we have a monopoly, but guess what? Only about five tech giants control everything global media. Subsidiaries here and yeah. there, you know, among them, but only about five. If you put, uh, what that means is that you probably have five people, all multi-billionaires in dollars, who can just decide to say, you know, you know, I mean, what are they talking about? You know, it must be this way, it must be that way. There must be avenue for checks and balances, for okay. engagement for responsibility 
you know, mm -hmm. without, of course, uh, uh, gagging uh, the media. Gag it, never. Nobody, no serious journalist will ever support gagging the media. You can't gag the media. Uh, you may not yeah, be. The fourth state of the you, may, you may not be. It's looking like we're the first now. <laughs> Good. Uh -huh. So we're getting somewhere. You may not somewhere. always be comfortable mm. with what comes out of you know. I mean, free market economy, free engagement. You may not always be comfortable with it. Mm. But then you know how it is in reg regulated and and established media. There are censorship. There are internal ombudsmen. You know who say no. You can't go overboard. You can't. Which is why retractions are commonplace, courage gender are commonplace, you know. So, but in, in citizen journalism, in quotes, um, any attempt to say that is not the way, the proper way to con to conduct yourself openly, they want to go, um, go up in arms. Look at NSAS, for example. Beautiful um, agitation by, by young lads. But of course, we also saw that um, Twitter was used to peddle certain things that really were not correct. Now, this is me. Isn't it? Trying to be very professional and remove my emotions away. Now, very wonderful... Our emotions can come into this day. I know, I know, I know. That, that's, <laughs> why, that's So, you know when um, it was good, we, we saw the... Oh, you do not acknowledge that there, there, there was no, 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 a no. level of misuse. So, you know that everywhere that is good happening... Exactly. That, um, that are... Um, abuses. <clears throat> abuses abuse right yeah, yeah um but my, my challenge with that and as sensitive as it is for a lot of us is we wanted what we really wanted okay what should we? <laughs> um what a lot of young people wanted was the right to be able to live the right to be able to get good amenities because we wanted a nigeria that worked i want to wake up in a country where where everything is working and we don't have half of our doctors leaving the country we don't want um we want as in, it's just basic like it's just basic and it felt like the government wasn't listening i, I thought they listened i thought they they agreed to some items that were presented but uh, issues took a different turn okay. when it left the good it left the issue of um ending sars mm -hmm. to something that was suggestive of like a regime change okay. so this is that you know it, it's a fine line that you have to be careful with not so I, and I'm, you know that i'm not a government spokesperson no no I'm, I am I'm, I'm, I'm not even looking at you as a government person at all right now i'm a I'm, journalist i'm too. looking at you Me? as somebody who has seen um regimes both, both come sides. and go and um you you i know so what's in nigeria of your dreams oh i think let's start with that first 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 nigeria it is a nigeria where things work Okay. The, I do not know of any perfect country. Mm -hmm. If there was an El Dorado somewhere, I would like to do all that is possible to get their passport mm. so that I can have a second, <laughs> a second <laughs> country. Mm. But I do not know of such country. Mm. There are other countries where things work better, mm. if you know what I mean. Yes. So I would like to see in Nigeria where things will work better. And let's even start from the basics. Power. Ah. Right, Become, power, yes, security, mm -hmm. infrastructure. It looks like this government is putting a beat into infrastructure. When I see my friends say, "Oh, I don't want to drive to it, I want to go and train. use the train." Is, blah, blah. Train is not a new tourism. No, but it's it, it's. I mean, you're moving from point A to B in terms of positive development. It's it's like a drop in in an ocean, no. Mm -hmm. But don't also neglect that something is is there, especially because we've we've experienced it before. Is just returning. Um, in Nigeria, where the first thing that comes to your mind will not be that I, I want to relocate or I want to. Yes, people can afford it, let them travel and come back mm. and stuff. But, but then it shouldn't be because we lack okay. the basic things here, you know. Good. Yeah, I mean, we will, maybe African countries to, to an extent will always be. Not always, no. We'll, you know, <laughs> there, there will be some measure of disadvantages, yeah, right challenges there. that we deal with. Mm. But then if we also look at, uh, and, and this is the point about how we must continually um, ask for those who are ruling us to justify the little that they have. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Lagos is an example. People mm. will say blah blah. Part of the problem of Lagos is because the more Lagos succeeds in certain areas, the more 
others that are not coming. Mm-hmm. So I say, for example, Niger Delta State, six states. Why do we not have like little little legacies or something getting closer Close to, to Dubai? That. You know, because of the huge amount of money that goes in there. If we start, we are not going to get there like in five years or in ten years. But at least on a, I mean Regular every other business. year, let us see that progress. we can applaud something. Okay, now um, my time is almost up. But in one or two minutes, what what makes a good story for you? When you, what makes a good story for you? A good story for me will be won't be a PR, it will be a disruptive news item. Something that um, breaks, mm-hmm. on the one hand, that you can, like, you know, that has the wow factor. Oh, wow. You can see that the, re- the reporter has done his or a job and is giving me information that I do not have. Mm. On the other hand, a good news will also be something that celebrates excellence. You know, um, a story, for example, of somebody returning um, a huge amount of money that another passenger for, forgot in the, bus. In, the, in the car or in the bus, or a lonely street sweeper on the highways of Lagos State at 6 a.m., you know, doing the work. It won't just be as social media will carry to say, oh, see this woman, is 6 a.m., mm. blah, blah. She's very well. I want to know who she is. I want to know how she's feeding her family, what led her to that sort of a job. Mm. That, to me, would be a good story. It doesn't have to be disruptive, but it can also be, you know, celebrated, if, if you know what I mean. So, um, uh, developmental journalism is news, too. You know, celebrate, you know, encourage people, acknowledge that people are putting a lot into what they are doing. It shouldn't be bad news, you know, all the time. Ah, <sighs> somebody had to say that. Because, <laughs> you know, you, you wake up in the morning and all you see is... It's tiring, isn't it? I mean, it's disheartening that every time the number... Sometimes it doesn't even bother us anymore. The yeah, number of people become, dying in people certain parts kidnapped. of the country and stuff. You're like, come on, you know. Okay, so one more. Mm-hmm. Um, how old do you want your president to be in another 10 years? In yeah. another 10 years? Yeah, let's see. How old would, we want, would you want your president to be? Are you asking that what age? Yes, what ideal age? Ideal age. No, not ideal age. What age do you want the president to be. It's the 10 years I don't understand. No, 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 no. Okay, we should remove the Just 10 years. Just remove the 10 years. Okay, you're saying basically that a 51 like, year old. like Baba Ngida said that he would prefer uh, somebody <laughs> less than 70. Is that where you're going? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, for me, mm. I do not think it's about age. America has shown us that frankly... America is a working country. <sighs> but, I mean, they, they had a 47 year old in Obama at a point. And then he's 78 now in Biden, he's 74 in uh, Donald Trump. Okay. okay what, what if we have, if we had a 47 or 55 year old person yeah. and and every of his birthday, he travels down to, what do they call that place in Mexico or, you are your or Jamaica? You are you your know, and so I'm saying that. It's youth, not about the age. Youthful age will help mm-hmm. because um, it's unlikely that you will want to advertise the job of a CEO of a conglomerate and you want a 70 year old to be there yeah. if, if you know what I mean yeah, yeah. okay so what would I prefer uh, <laughs> <laughs> 50s ideally okay. but then who says that um, 62 64 can or do 45 uh, 45 in Nigeria of 2023 mm-hmm. it will be a tough call let him let him go let him go try state it, first as a gun. <laughs> I'm coming for you. Anyway, thank you so much. My time is up. You're thank welcome. you so much. Thank you to Spencer and Oyin Dabula for making it happen. Thank you for everyone who has called in to make this show wonderful. Till we come your way again next week, Saturday, like we always say on Signals, dream again, create opportunities for people. And because people will be people, please keep creating opportunities for them. Have a wonderful week and God bless. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So that's